Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks, and I made a video today about how to do a macro by hitting the alternate G key to put two guidelines horizontally and vertically in the center of your page. And I started thinking, how could you do it? it? Took me a little while to figure out. I don't know if it's 100% going to work all the time, but we're going to open up our Docker and I'll open up our Object Manager Docker, and you can see the rectangles in a separate layer. It's on the guideline, so I'm going to select both guidelines and I'm going to put them up top. I'm going to move them to this rectangle layer one. <clears throat> and we're going to write a macro to make maybe make it go to the center of this object. So we're going to go to tools and scripts, start recording, and we're going to call this guideline center, GLC. As soon as I do that, it's going to start recording. You need to select your guidelines first, hold down the shift key, select your second guideline, select your rectangle, and then hit EC on your keyboard. And look at that, it put my guidelines in the center of that box. Now we're gonna to go to tools, scripts, and stop recording. So now we'll move our rectangle to another part of the page. You would have to have two guidelines in your page. So let's go to tools, scripts, scripts, and yours might say macro, and there's my GLC double click on it and it put the guidelines in the center. Let's move our box again to down here, let's say, and let's right click on our macro and assign it a keyboard stroke. And we're just gonna call it G. A lot of people don't realize when you don't have your text tool, it's not gonna print a G. We're gonna assign it and say, okay. I'm just gonna hit the letter G and put it, and it put, my guidelines in the center of my object. Now, I don't know how far that's gonna go, but if you were doing a lot of items, I don't know, you know, it's not gonna pick them all. I don't think the, it, well, it does do that. You can actually move it around sometimes and it'll stay. But if you click off of it, then you can move your guideline. So I don't think it's the best macro in the world, even though you can get it to do that. You know, if you're just positioning around and then you go, I wonder what it looks like. I'm going to hit G and that is my center. So I might play around with it tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow and see if you can't, you know, what happens if you put another object on the page or you want it to go to that object. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.